Today I'm going to show you how to cook with whole grains. Now short grain brown rice is my favorite. I try to have it on my table every day for my kids and believe it or not they do love it. And people are always asking me about a smaller whole grain. This is quinoa, very popular. It's called the super grain. You see it in a lot of fine restaurants. So let's go do it. We go over to our kitchen sink. We'll take the quinoa because that'll be the easiest. And this is one cup of quinoa, cool running water, and I just, you know, clockwise movement with my hand, I just go round and round and round. Not super vigorously. You want to really be delicate and gentle with your food because that's the kind of energy you really want to get from your food. This is two cups of short grain brown rice. And here is the pot method. So I'm not using a fine mesh strainer. I'm using my hand again, counterclockwise, cool running water. And I just pour it out. This is where I want to use my fine mesh strainer. Just makes it so much easier than trying to catch it with your hand. So you want to get rid of as much excess water as you can. Okay, the rule of thumb to grain is for every dry cup of whole grains, I put one and one fourth to one and one half cup of liquid. Here is another fun little tip that I was taught is that you lay your hand down and you make sure that the water comes up right above you know the heel of your hand and in fact I'm gonna put a little bit more water because I feel like it's not coming up to the heel of my hand so let's do it so I'm gonna go ahead put this on my stove top a pinch of good quality sea salt and when I say a pinch to me, that's a pinch, you know, just a little bit in a pot of two cups of rice. And then for the quinoa, I'm going to fill the pot with the water. And the key to these grains, because they're so tiny and you don't want them to end up mushy, is I'm going to bring that water to a boil. Then I'm going to put my grain in. As it's coming to a boil, once again, I'm going to sea salt. Same kind of pinch, and it's going to take like a minute to come up to a boil. I turn it down to its lowest flame, put the lid on it, put a timer on. Definitely, I use timers because I'm doing other things in the kitchen and or getting distracted from something else. So for my quinoa, 25 minutes is usually about right. For the rice, it's going to be more like 35, 40 minutes even sometimes up to 45 minutes. So it looks like, yep, my rice is done and my quinoa, so I'll take the lids off and I'll turn the flame off. Another tip is, is that you take your wet rice paddle and you go around the edge of your grain, loosening the grain away from the pot. It's ready to come out and same kind of thing. I don't want to take a fork and vigorously start fluffing. Keep it real easy. Look at that. See how light and fluffy the grains are. There's no mushiness to it. And that's getting the right amount of liquid to the right amount of dry. And I believe bringing the water to a boil first and then adding these small grains. Now, I have on the side sauteed some vegetables. And I'm going to mix one of these grain dishes with my vegetable. Skillet, a little bit of oil on the bottom, a little bit of garlic if you want to, that's optional. It's just I just took what I had at hand. Now this is a place that you would cut the vegetables very small. I've also cut up a little fresh cilantro. Dill would be great in this, but cilantro, especially with the corn, is a real nice combination. And let me get another spoon so I can, you know what, actually I'll get a fork. It's just like a salad, and that's what you want to think. Just tossing, and gentle, and light, and easy, so that you don't uh, overwork the starchiness of the grain. How about that? Is that not gorgeous? Simple, easy, quinoa. What that take? About 25 minutes to cook? And the vegetables were sauteing right alongside it. Great.